Central Florida schools have a little more than a week left to apply for a grant that would help them in cases of crisis. The Florida Department of Education has $14 million for schools to implement the emergency response mapping data. And it is a valuable life-saving tool. Ivo Allen, a security tech and mapping expert, is the head of 911 Inform, a company that uses the tool in schools, houses of worship, and other public spaces. If Florida schools use the tool in their buildings, it would help first responders find an issue faster. You know, any type of building uh, is, is a maze, right? And then when you have an emergency or you have something going on, having first responders have situational awareness or know where that person is in that building is critical. For example, if there is a shooting, someone would call 911. The dispatcher would access a map of the school and see where the caller is. It's saying, okay, they're at you know this school, they're in the gym, the northwest corner of it. It, it, it saves a dramatic amount of time. But you know when I th you know when you think about the mapping, and everyone is focused on the mass shooting. This is used for dispatchers every single day. There's a 911. West two reached out to Central Florida public school districts. So far, Osceola County says it will apply for the state grant. Volusia and Marion counties are considering applying. Why wouldn't you do it? Right, it's going to save lives. So you have a child, you have a faculty, staff member that's having a medical emergency. You're going to reduce the response time with this technology. Tonight, Gabriel Gadigas, West two news. The deadline for schools to apply is September 15th.